I put yes to expects obedience. Right. Almost like not, not non-negotiable, but they just need to understand that in, in specific areas, you know, we're going to be inflexible. We, we Parenting skills groups run by schools way. on school premises are increasingly common in the battle to engage parents in their children's learning. But one school, Kennett, near Newbury, has developed a remarkable support programme that brings harder to reach parents and their children together. Three years ago, they set up the Marlborough Group, a weekly programme aimed at a few children who are having problems at school and where follow-up calls revealed issues at home. We identify a group of pupils who have a variety of different needs, different concerns. We then call the parents, we, we make phone calls, we work with our family support workers, we bring them into school, albeit perhaps with some difficulties, because let's face it, some of these parents are the ones who might be reluctant about coming into school. Once we've broken that barrier, they have a session where pupils work on curriculum work and target setting alongside their parents. And for, for some parents, this is their first real experience of curriculum work since they left school themselves, and they may have had troubled experiences of school. Six families are on this year's course. Three were happy to be filmed. Amanda and Daniel are working on a starter exercise. They're writing down their understanding of the house rules. Where do you have to put your shoes? In a cupboard. In a cupboard. OK. What about things like bedtime or um, things like jobs that you have to do? Yeah? OK. What other sort of rules? What things do Mum and Dad expect you to do, perhaps, that you think that's a rule in our house? Jobs. Jobs? Do you have particular jobs to do? Walking the dog. Walking the dog, that's a nice one. Carolyn and Alison are part-time pastoral workers, while Bev is a former head of house at the school. To be in on time, we didn't think about that one, did we? Which is working very well at the moment, isn't it? Good. Do you think of that as a rule, then? Yeah. So maybe that's quite a big one, isn't it? Kate's away in the cupboard. Did you know that? Yeah. But you just didn't write it down. OK. There are youngsters who do um, avoid school sometimes. And often when you start just rubbing the surface and giving them a little bit of attention, you suddenly realise that there are more problems um, that they've been hiding. Often those problems aren't just isolated with a young person. They are coming from home and the, the difficulties at home or the attitude of the parents is what's creating their attitude in school. So leave the kitchen tidy if you've been out there. At the moment, mm -hmm. Dylan isn't attending school. Is there any kind of um, expectation about your bedroom and...? Uh... It's already tidy. It's tidy this morning. OK, but it's, you, you're meant to keep it tidy. Yeah, it's tied off every day. There you go, so maybe... Oh, it's it's tidy. tidy. Well, maybe, oh, yeah, that's, that's maybe that's one you should don't put down there. Don't leave the TV. And you don't tidy at the bathroom. Oh, you're doing well here, Dylan. You thought you had nothing, look. <laughs> when you How are you getting on, Tina? You don't have to clean the bathroom. That's your trip everywhere. Yes. yes. In the same room. You had a bath last yeah. thing. You would have so thought the dog had a bath. There's all bears in there for some reason. Well. Won't go there. Little did not. I actually squashed a spider when I was in okay. there. There's a spider <laughs> under my So maybe there's rules about leaving the bathroom tidy as well when you've been in there. Oh, tidy for the next job. person. Oh, right. I think it's probably your job, actually. My job. The young people get individual time with their parents, which if they at home they may not have if they've got other siblings. They realise that their parents do care about them and that they're willing to give up their time and come into the school, which is quite difficult for some parents. So rather than just sitting down, talking about the problems and what's not going on, they can have a bit of a laugh together, a bit of a joke, and then start sort of looking at what's happening at home, but in a non-threatening way. It's just um, really good to know that you're not alone, that other people are having problems too with their children, and um, just to listen that you think, well, that idea may work for me, you know, just generally to pick up what you can and try it and talk about it. What's changed since you started coming to the group? Been more behaved and get more work done at school. And how about your relationship with your mum? Better. In session one, the pupils set targets to achieve by the end of the six-week course. Each week, they review progress. The children we're targeting are children who 
are finding they're getting themselves into trouble and difficulties at school. So that may be that they're constantly turning up late or they're disrupting classes or they may have some emotional problems and they sort of may storm out if somebody says something in a class um, and upsets them. A few months ago, the relationship between Jade and her mother Lynn had almost broken down. Right, your turn now. Jade, how have you been this week? Have you had a good week? Yeah. I can't remember all of your targets. Certainly one of them was relating to homework, wasn't it? How's that been? Um, sorry. It's been okay, has it? Yeah. Yeah? I'm doing more. You're doing more homework? Good. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah? So how many pieces a night are you managing to get done now? Um, are you doing it all or is there still some? All not it. all of it. Okay. Two, three pieces, something like that. Well, that's really positive. And what were your other targets? Bedroom. Oh, bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and Lewis. Oh, and Lewis, oh, that's yes. That's right. How Brother. are they going? Uh, Tell us about those two, how, how they've been working. The bedroom's tidy. Your bedroom's tidy. It's absolutely spotless, isn't it? Fantastic. It's all done it. But to be fair to her, she has kept it. Yeah. yeah. Good. And, and Lewis, is he managing to keep house a little more? Yeah. No, uh, he's not. Yes, he is. He, he still comes out with the... He's not getting involved now, cos I had another chat with him about, uh, you know, said that you really ought to stop it cos it is upsetting him. There's these snotty, stupid comments that he comes out with. Um, he came out with one, I think, it, it was yesterday when it was last night, when they were all together, cos they had a lot of friends around in that last night. But she actually didn't actually take it to heart. Good. You know, she come back, I was quite shocked actually, because she actually come back with something quite witty and well there was done. no swearing in there. <laughs> oh, well Good done. girl. So, so it didn't kind of uh, wind you up no. or get cross, you just... Uh... Not like it normally no, does. No, that's right, so that's you really know, she actually too. come back with something, I can't remember what it was, but something quite witty. I've improved yeah. because one of my targets was homework and I've started doing my homework a lot more and not getting arguments as much and I haven't been, so, yeah, it's helped. She would never admit she was wrong. It was always me or somebody else. But she would actually now sit there in front of the other people that are in, in the group and admit, no, I did do that. Well, we haven't been arguing as much. And that makes it better because then there's not so much, like, stress and shouting in the house. So it calms my mum that more. She's really surprised me, Jay does, actually, because she enjoys it. And I thought the little book that we have to do, she was like, point blank, refused to do it but she doesn't. Well, I don't really see them as hard to reach parents, really. I think a lot of people have um, set views about agencies helping them. They might have been let down in the past. They may be quite wary. They may have had a good school experience themselves. And I think sometimes once you actually build a relationship with a parent and they get to know you, it's a bit like a stepping stone. And once then they will come into school and they will get involved in the groups and the resources you're wanting to offer once the sort of fear's gone, really, and they know they're not going to be judged and that it's to help. Have a good lesson and we'll see you on right. break. Bye, see you later, Dan. Bye. See you. The children are then able to go back to class and we stay for refreshments with the parents, following which is an informal session with the family support workers, but there's an underlying tone of parenting and parenting classes going on during that session. So I thought we'd look at... Um, sort of boundaries and how we set them at home really sort of just have a little idea of who sets them and how long they've been not like being funny but Dylan really don't usually do what he's told he so don't follow anything he, he okay. don't so yours, is, do so yours is so yours is so yours is week to week he'll still go out really yeah that's why regardless of what we say yeah. he, he still go okay you know I can't keep him in because he still go anyway so okay so that's something he's a bit like to... that really I don't know Nothing really works with us. I've been discussed sitting down with Daniel and discussing punishments and things because I tended to use the grounding. If he's like ten minutes late, I'm panicking. Okay. And, and is he often late, Dylan? No, but he has been. Well, okay. I don't know where he is, and often he's been at James's house and told me. Okay. And maybe that's something you need to sit down and talk to Dylan about and say that why I'm no, ringing no. you is because, yeah. you know. If you're, if you're due back in at a certain time, I'd expect you back in at that time. Yeah. Uh, and if you're not in, then I'm going to worry about you. You know, like when you think, like, oh God, he's missing. Someone's got him. You know, mm. but it, like it's it said, like when I read in a magazine, it's very rare that your kids would get, you know, abducted or whatever. But you still worry about it. Yeah, of course you worry, but so yeah. they can kind of I suppose every parent's the same, yeah. aren't they? Mm. Yeah. yeah, they are. Mm. They are. 
newspapers are great if something a story is just broken yeah. to yeah. just talk about it at home to say oh did you hear about what happened to that girl what do you think what would you have done and sometimes it's general sort of to have a yeah. conversation rather than you're late and this could have happened and that could have happened when they're not listening mm. if you do it in a really relaxed mm. kind of way so it's it's about building his yeah. confidence and, and finding things that he does well and looking for some it's always like positive. below in confidence and yeah. i don't know if it's because of us and because we've never like run him down or said no. you know that's not good enough trouble is for me like when dylan's dad sets like these boundaries i won't agree to them well, that's right yeah right. that is a problem because isn't it? I think having he's to be too, he's too hard between the two of you that is that and then we'll argue very over it well, yeah. i do feel for you that tina because i had that with with their dad. Yes. It's it's I, I he said to me, you set the rules, I'm not like, fine, yeah. but you have to back me on them. Yeah. Right, so I set the rules. That's crucial, isn't it? Lewis would break them, say, and then he would sound off and then Larry would get involved in it. That, you don't know whether you're coming or going then. Yeah. But the worst thing is a child doesn't know whether they're coming yeah. or going either. Yeah. I really do look forward to coming because it is nice to talk to other people that are having similar problems with their children as opposed to talking to friends who won't really be honest with you. You know, if I said, oh, you know, what do I do about this situation, you know, with Jade, she's been really nasty, you know, verbally, my friends wouldn't be honest with me, I don't think, in, in how to deal with it because fear of upsetting me or offending me. Before I me, mean, she was really obnoxious, she was really awful child, and she would be right in my face, mm. you know, saying all this nasty stuff, and she wouldn't bat an eye, she'd just walk away from gifts. So what do you think's changed then? My mum said to me, when she goes off like that, just, just, don't answer her, just turn around, walk away, walk into another room, go out of the house, just do something, just go away from her. And it was hard to do it, yeah. to, to yeah. keep walking away from her and like counting to ten, because I mean, you were seething. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because she delighted in upsetting me, I think, that's what it was, to push me to that stage where, you know, I would be crying and, you know, at screaming point with her, and she'd just stand there and laugh. But she can't get over that thing of, of because she has been so horrible for such a long time, yeah. but now she's not. When she is nice, she still deems that she's been horrible. Mm. I can't remember what I'm surprised, actually, because I made the effort to come. I mean, it's like last week. I actually had an accident. Jade said to me, she goes, you're not going to be able to come. I said, I will come. I said, because, you know, I've started, we've started, me and Jade have started, and we've got to see it right the way through to the end. We're trying to encourage parents who are nervous about coming mm. into school, and it's making sure that they feel that they can come in. And it isn't about just giving them an invitation, it's ringing and saying to them, this would be really good for you because. Some might be skeptical about investing so much in so few. But Paul German feels that a school that's genuinely comprehensive must look out for all its students. Well, I think it's important to target absolutely every parent and every child in the school. And if you've got even at a school of 1700 like this one, if there are 10 parents who are struggling or feel that they're not able to support their child, that's 10 parents too many. And so the, the sort of support we may want to put in place might be quite small scale, it's very targeted, but nevertheless, it's, it's important that everybody feels part of the community and part of the school that they, they, they belong to.